Good to have you along with us. Look at a beautiful weekend ahead for us. Lots of blue skies and mild temperatures. Actually cool in the mornings. The afternoon still kind of warm. Live look from a Bob Mills Furniture Sky Live weather camera and Temple this afternoon. A couple of things to start out with. We had another second day in a row. Record low temperature this morning with the mercury dropping down to 53 degrees. And we're counting down 14 days now to the official beginning of autumn. At the same time, we're enjoying all that. Florida is bracing for the onslaught of Hurricane Irma coming in probably uh, Saturday night. It looks like making landfall near Miami. Here, clear skies for the most part. We're seeing a few clouds floating through the hill country. It's 82 degrees in Atlanta and Burnett right now. 82 in Lamp Passes, but along the interstate, a little warmer. You're at 85 degrees in Waco now. Gatesville reporting 84. 82 in Mahia. Marlins at 82. Temple's at 82. Colleen's at 82 degrees right now. Hey. It's 82 degrees in Fairfield and Centerville as well. And I'm going to leave them out for tonight. High pressure that has brought us blue skies and sunshine is going to stick around for a while. Yeah, it will be clear tonight. Mild 58 the overnight low with a light east breeze. Northeasterly winds tomorrow. Clear, but a warm afternoon. Readings getting up to around 87 degrees tomorrow. Here's the surface map, and you see high pressure dominant across the eastern third of the Lone Star State. A little bit of cloud cover from our hurricane down on the coast of Mexico. Uh, that's the storm I'm talking about right there. Katia likely to become a tropical depression near Mexico City by Saturday evening out in the Atlantic waters or just moving into the Caribbean is uh, Irma and by Sunday morning should be close to Miami and the Everglades pushing on towards Fort Myers and it looks like going up uh, much of the western half of Florida and then pushing on into the Mid-South, very likely the center of the storm sitting out over near Nashville early next week. But as we heard earlier in this newscast, this storm is so huge, it covers the entire state of Florida once it moves up. Here's your Channel 6 seven-day forecast where your weekend's always in view. We've got high school football tonight, college football tomorrow, both Baylor and UMHB are at home Saturday evening. It looks like it's going to be a nice night for that. Sunshine in the forecast for us all the way through the end of next week, very likely. And Friday is the 15th of September, which means we've gone through the first half of September dry. And I keep pointing this out. September is normally a wet month for us, so it looks like it's going to be staying dry for us, not only through the middle of the month, but likely through the end of the month as well. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Okay.